Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is OGR Game 51 as the Edmonton Oilers beat up the defending Stanley Cup champions 4-2. to two. As uh, this game, I would have to say I was definitely worried going into as I knew the St. Louis Blues was going to be a tough team to go up against because, I mean, the Edmonton Oilers has never really had any good luck against this team in the recent years. We've gotten our asses smaked every time we faced off against the St. Louis Blues, and it was almost a devastating loss to this team. We start off red hot with Drysdale and Jones getting a big goal, and then we had seen two in a row goals from the St. Louis Blues, one in the second and then one in the third, but then just the rest of the game, we really stepped up. We took the uh, our foot off the pedal a little bit. The first period, we were going right at them. We were really forced into play. It was 13-4 to for shots for the Oilers, and then we just backed off and let the St. Louis Blues kind of take over. I mean, it went to 13-7 to for shots uh, during the third period, or the second period, I mean there. If I could check and look at it. I don't have my mouse today, so it kind of sucks, but the first period, shots on net, it was 13-3, to and then it was 14-8 to for St. Louis, and then it was dead even in the uh, last period. So, I mean, we played a really good game, and I was really happy with the way that we played played uh because this is the type of hockey that you're gonna need to play when it comes to playoff hockey right you're gonna be you're gonna you might have we need to get off to that hot start right we've seen that in december where we would get not off to a hot start or even in the first month of our hockey right we were we were playing great all that first month but we were letting in goals in the first period we weren't able to do anything but we were able to make a good comeback but now we're actually starting to win games in that first period and carrying it across the entire game, which I'm liking it. Leon Dreisaitl, I called him out in the last uh, last video. I was calling him a lazy piece of shit. He stepped up tonight with two goals. Not just that, he was a plus and minus a three. Six shots on net, one hit, and his giveaways were way down. He had two giveaways and two takeaways. So it canceled each other out. And it was not where he had six giveaways. Um, very good night for Leon Dreisaitl. He was all over the place. The first goal was just a rocket from the point. It was a beautiful goal. And then the second one, he was just able to tuck it right on in and snipe it. It was uh, some really good goals from uh, that line of Nuge, Dreisaitl, and Yamamoto. I've been absolutely loving it. And I've really been enjoying it. And as you guys all know, Right after the game of the Calgary Flames there on Thursday, we called up Tyler fucking Benson. I've been waiting for this kid to be called up for such a long time, being a point per game in the AHL. Um, I was talking with one of my buddies on my hockey team there that he's not going to be an impact player, but we all know that, that he's not going to be a huge impact player. We're looking at him to be that playmaker. To maybe go up on that first line. We're hoping he goes up on that first line alongside of McDavid and Cassian. Because Tyler Benson's an elite playmaker. He is a good passer. And that's what we want out of Tyler Benson. Good 2 a forward to maybe go alongside of Connor McDavid and Zach Cassian. You never know how that line might work out. Uh, Yamamoto has worked out perfectly. He's had a great, great year so far. And he's made us have a better second line than we had. I mean... You take a look at the 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 past second lines. I mean, our first line was Drysdale, and McDavid, and fucking Cassian. And our second line, we were trying to find some good left winger to play alongside a new Janiel. And that line was never able to get anything going. Now that second line is really pumping. Drysdale had two goals tonight. We had Caleb Jones get his first of the season, which was a nice shot from the point, which was Drysdale's line on the ice. And then Archibald with the shorthanded empty net goal, which was just a... Perfect defensive play. It was a nice uh, to get rid of it, and it was just a nice dangle. Um, perfect play from Archibald, and I've been loving the way that he's been playing. He got a chance up on the first line with uh, McDavid and Cassie, and I'm, I'm guessing he's going to go back down with Sihan because I'd rather have Archibald with Sihan and then Kara because Nygaard's out for long term uh, with a broken hand. It sucks. It is what it is, but Tyler Benson, this is your time, my man. This is Tyler Benson's time. If he can really prove that he can take his hockey to another step up, I feel like that's going to be huge. But Benson's not going to perform for us on that third line with Sehan or Gaton Haas or whoever he's going to play with, right? I love to see him play alongside of Connor McDavid tonight in the Calgary Flames game because this game is going to be a big one against the Flames tonight. I'm not going to be able to watch it live. I'm going to watch it right afterwards. I'm not even going to fucking retwitter at work. I'm not going to do jack shit when I go to work tonight. I got to go work a game for the State Trojans uh, and record that game for them. Uh, but anyways, let's get right back to the Oilers game. Uh, other people that were doing great, Miyuka Koskinen, he made the saves that uh, he uh, was supposed to make. Uh, he made 30 saves on the night, 938 save percentage. He was just a fantastic goaltender. Caleb Jones and Matt Benning, they were a solid 
solid defense pair all night long. They had a plus and minus of three. They were just real solid, making some nice passes. Adam Larson, man, he was laying the body out. He was real physical, and I'm hoping he could do the exact same thing against the Calgary Flames. Nurse Bear, every defensive pair actually had a solid game. Uh, we haven't talked about Connor McDavid yet. I know it's surprising. Uh, he didn't have a bad game either. Uh, he didn't have the best because he was playing alongside Ryan O'Reilly, but both lines canceled each other out. That, that means it was, uh, the, the Leon Drysell and Yamamoto and Nuge, uh, they were able to perform big time, but we're missing that uh, Neil in the lineup for sure. Um, and, uh, Nygaard, we're missing him for sure in the lineup too. It sucks that that Calgary game was rough. We're going to play our last game against Calgary tonight, which is a big game for sure. Um, it's going to be a really big game. I don't know if Tyler Benson's in the lineup yet. I haven't gotten any updates, but this is a big game. This is honestly a really big game for the Oilers because we're tied with the Flames right now. We're going to drop a 4-0 series against the Calgary Flames. We really don't want to do that right now, right? You have the Vancouver Canucks who are on a four-game winning streak. You get the Vegas Golden Knights are sort of there, sort of not. Arizona is starting to lose some games. But we need to get the victories while we can. And this is going to be a big one tonight. We beat the Stanley, uh, the defending Stanley Cup champions, right? That was huge for us. That was a huge victory against a great team in the Blues. But now we need to gain off that success that we had against the Blues and take it another step, uh, another step, step higher, uh, what we did against the St. Louis Blues and don't let off the pedal. I know we're going to be exhausted going to this game. We have a game on hand on the Flames, which is great. So even if we do lose this game, maybe we can get a point from it, and we still have a game on hand on the Flames. So we're looking at a very good position for the Edmonton Oilers right now. We have two games on hand on the Vegas Golden Knights and the Arizona Coyotes, and they're a point below us, while well, Arizona's two points below us. Um, we're, we're in a very good spot right now as the Edmonton Oilers. We're looking at a very good spot, but we need to do we need to have a good road trip because it's going to be a long road trip, but we need to have a good one. And hopefully, maybe we can sign some death forwards. Also, uh, sorry, EA, you lost. You're now 29 and 22, man. It has been a uh, kind of a rough season for the team. And uh, Tyler Benson uh, will be making his debut with the Edmonton Oilers tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he will be making his debut. I just seen it now here on Twitter. Um, he will be making his debut. I don't know what the lineups are yet. I haven't seen anything about lineups from both of my analysts that I'm looking at now. Uh, so I'm not too sure what the lineups will look like. Um, James Neal, uh, he's not, he's, yeah, that was from last night. Uh, but it looks like we don't know what Tyler Benson's line will be. Uh, sadly enough, I wish I would be able to know before I would upload this video. Uh, but hopefully Tyler Benson will be up on the first slide. But ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys all later tomorrow as we're going to be talking about the Calgary Flames game. And then we're going to be watching the Super Bowl and stuff like that as well. So it's going to be a very, very busy weekend. But thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys all for the Calgary Flames game. Let's go, Oilers. Let's get this big fucking W. And Tyler Benson, he's going to have a big night. I'm calling on Tyler Benson tonight. I know it's his debut, but I feel he's going to get either a goal or a big-time assist for the Edmonton Oilers. And I feel like he's going to have a very good game. I'm going to be keeping my eye on Tyler Benson tonight. But for right now, guys, I'm going to sign off. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Also, watch the highlights uh, between the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers to see who wins. See you guys all later. Adios, amigos. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Well, they're hoping to bring the Red Mile alive again here in Calgary tonight. Calgary's back at home for an extended period. The first one going tonight. They'd love to get off on a good start here. Always difficult, however, the first game after a road trip. Teams tend to come out a little heavy-legged and don't play very well. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a chance out front. Scores! Johnny Gaudreau! He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads this team in goals. The stop. Moves it to Kachuk. Great hit on the play. Quick feed to Goudreau. Hammers it on net. He scores! Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James. After scoring once, they didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. Goalie.
really looks like he's waving at the puck as it goes past him. Tried to make the big stop, doesn't get it. On the final minute of regulation time. Kachuk swooping in on the attack. A chance to end it and breathe. I got two of these in my career. I was never up at the end of the game. Good 400 goals and only scored two empty netters. Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.